This is Alex Salmon's first big appearance for almost a year since he walked free from the High Court, cleared of 13 charges of sexual assault. I swear by Almighty God that I'll tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. This committee is investigating the Scottish Government's handling of the original complaints against them made by two civil servants. The Court of Session found the Government's inquiry was tainted by apparent bias and cost the taxpayer more than half a million pounds in legal fees. I know that the First Minister asserts that I have to prove a case. I don't. That has already been done. In his opening statement, he said this inquiry is not about him. For two years and six months, this has been a nightmare. In fact, I have every desire to move on, to turn the page, to resist talking yet again about a series of events which have been amongst the most wounding that any person can face. But the reason I'm here today is because we can't turn that page, nor move on, until the decision-making which is undermining the system of government in Scotland is addressed. But that didn't stop questions on his behaviour. Of the behaviours that you have admitted to, um, some of which are appalling, are you sorry? Was it typical for issues like this to be resolved via an apology rather than a formal complaints procedure mm. when you were First Minister? Uh, you can choose whether or not to answer that, Mr Sand. I've had three years, uh, Ms. Watt, a, of two court cases, two judges, one jury. And as far as these matters are concerned, I'll leave it to the, the courts and the, the jury. Alex Salmon believes there was a conspiracy to discredit him and even have him jailed. He claims it runs to the highest levels in the SNP, including the party's chief executive, Peter Murrow, who's married to Nicola Sturgeon. You don't use the term conspiracy, but you say the evidence supports a deliberate, prolonged, malicious and concerted effort amongst a range of individuals within the Scottish Government and the SNP to damage my reputation, even to the extent of having me imprisoned. Why would these people conspire against you? I believe the motivation uh, for furnishing complaints to the police uh, was initially uh, to defeat uh, the judicial review by having it postponed. Alex Salmon's biggest claim is that the First Minister misled Parliament and broke the ministerial code about meetings between the two in 2018. I would have thought uh, either the explanation breaches the ministerial code because either uh, the meeting on the 29th of March wasn't forgotten about and Parliament was deliberately misled or alternatively, it was forgotten about and Parliament wasn't informed when she was reminded of it. Now, you know, my submission to the Ministerial Code says these are, to me, clear breaches of the Ministerial Code. What happens as a result is not for me. It's for this committee, it's for Mr James Hamilton, it's for others. All I can do is come here and tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. If the First Minister has broken the Ministerial Code, should she resign? Not for me. I, I believe the First Minister has broken the Ministerial Code, but the, the, you know, that is a finding that can be discussed, at least by this committee, uh, by Mr James Hamilton. It's not the case that every Minister who breaks the Ministerial Code resigns. I mean, your own uh, party would have a, an example of that relatively recently. Uh, it depends on what is found and, and the, the degree by which the ministerial code has been broken. I've got no doubt that Nicola has broken the ministerial code, but it's not for me to suggest the concept, what the consequences should be. It's for the, the people who are judging that, including this committee. Alex Salmond led the Yes campaign into the 2014 independence referendum. Today, he said the current leadership is not up to the job. The Scottish civil servant hasn't failed. Its leadership has failed. The Crown Office hasn't failed. Its leadership has failed. Scotland hasn't failed. Its leadership has failed. This will not be Alex Salmon's last word on any of this. Nicola Sturgeon will be at the committee on Wednesday.